fast catch up. Um, this is not a complicated problem we're solving here. This is a problem across all blockchains. Uh, and, and the problem here is that catching up from the Genesis block, it just extends the time that it takes to, uh, to get to the blockchain. So if you are a developer and you want to be on mainnet and you got to start from Genesis block, okay, great. Uh, but now you got to wait however long it is to get there. And by the way, uh, it, with Algorand, you know, you've got four and a half second block time. So you've got a lot more blocks, you've got a thousand transactions per block possible. So you could have a lot more transactions. So in a way, our technology that sets us apart and really makes us highly valuable uh, extends this time even more because your blockchain gets even bigger. So the solution here, we've got nodes, we've got the ability, just like you can create a node and then set it to be an archival node, you can set a node to create catch points. What these catch points do is create secure and downloadable ledger uh, as of specific blocks. We create them every 10,000 blocks. Uh, and then when you go to, to, uh, to catch up, if you use fast catch up, uh, you simply download this verifiable uh, ledger uh, as of roughly 10,000 blocks ago and catch up from there. So at no point do you have to catch up from more than 10,000 blocks. So we're talking about minutes here, not hours or days, et cetera. And again, those key design principles, they're the same, right? We're talking about simplicity. This is a single command. If you're starting up a node, just like you would set a flag for an archival node, uh, it's a single command during startup. Uh, to say, hey, I want to use the fast catch up uh, catch point. It's also secure. It's continuous, easily verifiable trust, and it's visible across the network. So all of the nodes that are set to, to uh, create these catch points are creating the same catch points. You can verify the hash. You can verify to make sure they're uh, acceptable and correct and no one's doing anything uh, wrong. Uh, and it's really easy to make sure that you feel comfortable with the trust. And finally, it's optional. Um, you know, anytime you're dealing with how you catch up and the blocks on the blockchain, we want to make sure people are comfortable with the way they're doing it. So this is optional. You can choose to use it. You can choose to not. Uh, I know that our conversations with developers and with companies, they're pretty excited about fast catch up. It's kind of a game changer in terms of getting involved, getting uh, and getting involved quickly. And the two use cases here are fairly straightforward. It lowers the bar for developer environments. We talked about that. It also really lowers the bar for people who want to participate in consensus. If you want to run a node and participate in consensus and be part of the network uh, and part of securing that network, well, now you can do so really easily, really quickly, uh, rather than having to, uh, to wait around and, and make sure you've got that whole blockchain download. So this is a small feature, but really is going to have quality of life improvements for both our developers and for folks who just want to participate.